the best word to describe Kai would be feisty. <laughs> he was very expressive for a baby that could not talk um, or make any noise, really, for that matter. He was incredibly expressive. We felt like Kai had a, a really happy existence. That's the first time Kai smiled. Yeah. Um, he laughed, he made eye contact with us. I, maybe not laughed, <laughs> though I could see him laughing in his eyes. That's, I guess that's the way um, we redefine things. Uh, but he, he changed when his family was in the room. He looks so happy. I swear I almost saw a social smile. I wasn't sure. Could be pushing things, but... Hey, Mom, can you see what's missing? Check me out. But it did feel scary knowing that, um, that Kai's life was in our hands. You know, of course, we believe it's in God's hands ultimately, but the decisions made about his health treatments and about um, the course of action was up to us. And so we made choices based off what we believed was Kai's happiness and, and his quality of life. And so every decision we made was based on that possibilities in the beginning of fixing his heart looked really good, but when Kai became sick in other ways, that possibility diminished. That was the biggest burden we had um, to make that choice because it felt, uh, you know, I prayed about everything and I just felt like I wanted God to make these choices for me and I didn't, I didn't at all want to feel like I was in control of that. I wanted someone else to be in control. And it was really hard to stop that process and to know, okay, we're going to let him be sick and we're going to let his body work through this the way that it needs to. That was really hard. But I don't regret it. It's not something I could change and it's it's what he needed to, to get to get to the end of his life, right? But um, but there were there were days where because of all of the needles that had gone in for blood testing, he was severely bruised. And when I look back at those pictures, those are the hardest for me to look at because I feel like at that point that he was in pain and that was not comfortable for him. And I didn't ever want him to be uncomfortable and to um, have a diminished quality of life. And I believe in the last week or so, he had a diminished quality of life. But I think that could be said for most people in their last week of life. Hold on, Kai. I think you like her there. So our favorite day with Kai was a day that we went outside, and so we, we think of Kai as our sunshine. We just sat and laughed, and it was a really beautiful hour of my life, probably the best. I think everything in my life brought me to this point. And again, it comes to my faith. I believe that God prepared me in some way, and Omar in some way, and our family in some way, our whole lives, to get to this point, because he knew when I was born that I was going to be Kai's mom. And he put in me a strength that I didn't know that I had and supported me with amazing family and friends. And, and I think all of those things helped for our journey to be a little bit easier. It also made us feel strong. And that's an empowering thing um, to know that we as a family could get through something like this. You have to keep living every day and do things that are important for you. I mean, I'm changing my life. I want to be a nurse, and I want to support families that have gone through what we've gone through. And I want to take Kai's life and make more of a lifetime out of it, you know? Making sure that you, that you take from a really awful situation all of the best things that you can, and you hold on to the love and the happiness and the strength and all the positivity that came from it. 
and let go of everything else.